Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Lucy and we talk about all things to do with allergies. So if that's up your kind of thing, then do please subscribe. I would love it to see you here more frequently. I post one video a week at the moment and I might be doing more, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Anyway, first up, this video is on how to take your child with allergies to a party. So I've put together some of my best tips for going to birthday parties or just parties in general um, when you're going both with yourself or and or your child because it can be tricky. I, as I've mentioned, my son Oliver is allergic to egg, wheat and dairy. So that's basically like everything that's in a cake. <laughs> And I'm allergic to nuts, so um, I understand it from that perspective. So um, depending on what you or your child is allergic to, I guess it would depend on what you need to say to your host. So what I normally do is I say, if I'm going to an event, I will tell the host that I'm allergic to nuts and say, is there any chance if you could just put not have nuts around? And that's generally quite an easy one because most people like aren't putting nuts in cakes. And so it's generally an easy one. They can say, okay, yeah, I just won't bring it. But when you go to an allergy to egg or wheat or dairy, that gets a little bit more tricky. So um, my son has a very severe allergy to eggs. Um, so that's the one I have real difficulty with because it doesn't really matter if somebody's eating wheat around them, but egg, I have to be a lot more careful. So I've learned a few things um, that have been helpful. The first one, and I know this sounds kind of drastic, but when he was really little and crawling around, I just couldn't bring him to parties. So I had one experience and it just, I then called my mum afterwards and told her about it. And she was like, yeah, just, she just didn't take me when I was a very small baby because it's really difficult because when they're crawling around and they don't, you know, they're touching crumbs and stuff like that. And there can be lots of stuff. It's just easier to wait a little bit until you can bring them to a party. So um, my, I'll tell you about my, what, what happened with me. Um, I was at a party and it was like the first party we'd been to with Ollie since he'd become allergic to things. And so much fun, but it was incredibly stressful. So I was there with my husband and I was like desperate to chat to people as, you know, a young mum of a newborn, well not a newborn, of like a six month old. I was so excited to see people and hang out. But it just was like the worst event that I've ever been to in my life because it was so stressful because Ollie didn't want to stand and sit in my arms the whole time. He wanted to crawl around and explore and touch things. And so he was kept on like trying to pick up crumbs or like grab at somebody's plate who had stuff. And there was just eggs, like stuff with eggs. There was cakes everywhere. There was cooked biscuits everywhere. There was like things everywhere. And it just ended up being really terrible. <laughs> because I, I, yeah he so nearly had so many allergic reactions I caught him on so many occasions like going to grab for that cookie or that donut or whatever it was and just being like ah. so I couldn't really talk to anybody so it wasn't really a party for me and I think it was in that moment that I realized okay if I have got any big events like this get a babysitter and organize smaller gatherings at my house that's what i started doing initially organizing smaller gatherings at my house or going to events where i knew the person really well and said hey can we just not have anything with egg in and you know my friends that were close to me were able to do that which i'm so grateful for so first of all i would just say if they're really young in the crawling stage best off not going to big events where you can't control the food do organize smaller things that can work so that would be my um first thing now once they get a bit older and they're able to start talking and you're able to communicate so ollie's at the age he's two now and i know two is still like two <laughs> i know about the two-year-old tantrums but he's finally at the point where i can he'll i could eat something like toast around him and he knows and he'll say like he wants it but i can say no ollie do you know why you can't eat toast and he'll say tummy hurt tummy i'm like yes ollie it will hurt your tummy and so he's starting to have a little bit more self-control than he used to. And he's starting to understand it a little bit more. So I have been out to events where I've explained, you know, I've gone up, I've entered the room and I've explained to Ollie, you can't touch any of these things. And this leads me on to my next point. Bring your, find out from the host what it is that they are making. So if they're making cupcakes or cake, whatever it is, I normally match and make the same thing. And I know it's a lot of work, but I will provide some super great easy recipes. There's a chocolate cake recipe that I have that is 
on par with a regular chocolate cake recipe, which is pretty miraculous because it's egg-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Anyway, it's pretty incredible. Side note. <laughs> so I try and bring things, the exact same things that um, the host is providing, and that's really helped because I'll then like prepare Ollie and get him a little bit excited about the idea of having um, the cake or whatever it is, and so that's really meant that when he goes there, he and when other people are eating I can give him the exact thing and I know it's something that he really really likes so that's really helped the other thing I wanted to mention is when I talk to the, the host who's hosting I normally tell them a little bit about my normally the people I know but I tell them a bit about the situation and um, I sometimes find you get two, one of two people you either get somebody who's like super anxious and like oh my gosh I'm not sure they can have that child over like do I have to never cook with eggs for like the whole week or can I you know what happens if I ate peanut butter earlier that day or yada yada, yada. and then you get the other kind of person that's really like blase about it so I think I would try and work out out of the two people what kind of personality they are if there's somebody who's like particularly prone to getting anxious I would just really like lower the stress and be like it's okay like I'm bringing my own food you don't need to worry like don't panic like really chill out and one thing that's really helped me um is I know with like Ollie's egg allergy and my allergist said this to me now don't I'm not a doctor don't you know <laughs> talk to your doctor but my allergist said look it, uh, you are very unlikely to your, Ollie is unlikely to die if somebody ate egg and then touched Ollie. He might get a rash, he might have an allergic reaction, but he's unlikely to die. And that was kind of really reassuring for me because I think sometimes, you know, when we are mums of a child who's very allergic, it can be very stressful. And just hearing those words, being like, okay, he might have an allergic reaction, but he's not gonna die. Now I know it is different for some nut sufferers. So if you have a nut allergy sufferer like me, talk to your doctor. <laughs> Don't always listen to me. <laughs> although I do get it so yeah I, I think really gauge how what your host is like and then talk to them and see whether you need to be like oh please don't bring any nuts to the event or you know please don't put anything with egg in at the event I think just see how they are as to what you need to assess because some will go like OTT and it's just not necessary and then they feel really stressed about the idea of inviting you over again because they're really anxious or because it's so much effort so anyway um any questions or comments or if you have any really good tips as to what you do for birthday parties post it down below and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up thanks for watching